Today I'm going to set up a, uh, a Topcon RL HV2S dual grade laser for a little scenario where we have a uh, some concrete tilt up work getting ready to happen. I could also run an HV1S if I needed, but I've got the 2S for the example. So what we're trying to do here is um, it's going to be the Y axis this way is going to have level, no slope. The X axis heading south is going to slope up at three tenths of a percent fall. So I kind of want to use this little uh, prop here to show you what the theory is. Um, this is going to be our X axis with the grade on it. This is going to be our Y axis. That's going to be level. So I'm actually going to put three tenths of a percent slope in here. So in theory, I can come over bench in when everything's running level, put the grade in the laser. And even though I put grade on the X axis in theory, the Y axis, 90 degrees across from where the laser is sitting at will still be level. That'll be my check. If I'm level there or I'm on grade there, I can do one more check on my projected slope hop that the surveyor put in. I need three points from a surveyor to set up a, a gray laser for a concrete tilt up. So that's what we've got. And I'm getting ready to set this thing up here in a second. For this sloping pad application, I don't want to set the laser over my grade and line stakes that I have here on this X axis. So I'm going to offset that laser so it's out of the working area. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull paste five feet off, establish a five foot mark here, a five foot mark down there. And that's what I'll use for line. So I've got this full working area. The laser's out of the way. I'll still use these grade stakes for checking it. All right, I'm now walking up to my 90 degree hub on my Y axis. I'm gonna get on grade here with my laser receiver. Okay, I'm on grade. So I'm going to go ahead and set my tape to zero, just to zero out the rod for my starting point. So, lock this down. Let's check one more time. Okay, I've zeroed out. No grade on the laser. All right, so now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to put grade on my x-axis. I benched it on my y-axis with the laser running level. I'm, after I put the grade on the x, I'm going to go back to my y, and that should zero out on the same elevation I had previously. If it doesn't, maybe I need to readjust the laser because it's not exactly aligned perfectly. So this will tell me how close I got with my visual. So I'm going to put my slope in here. That's the axis I want. The X axis is going to be a positive slope. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to scroll over to my tenths column, put in 0.3 tenths, hit enter. The laser is going to level out at 0.3 tenths percent. Uh, on the southbound x-axis and I'll, once this gets rotating I'll check in one more time on my y and that should be zeroed out and if not I'll make a correction all right so I put the grade on my x-axis I'm going to check my y-axis this should still zero out All right, so what that tells me is that my laser is squared up because I didn't have to make an adjustment on my Y because this this braid is not changed when it's only on the uh, the 90 degree axis. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna check myself once on the uh, projected slope that the surveyor gave me just as a as a final check before I do any uh, dirt work or uh, orange. All right, now so my final check is the actual projected slope with the three tenths of percent fall on the X axis. So in theory. I was on grade there. I checked it. This is my final check. I should be able to zero out on this. That'll give you peace of mind. That I laser it's definitely aligned with the correct slope in alignment. Looks great to me. So we're now going to go ahead and see we're good to go for the day and start doing our finished grading in that format.